How are you going today? Uh, this is Gansey. Today we're going to check out the new winter update that Scrap Mechanic has released. Um, it is winter update 0.2.0 and I haven't actually read all through it but it seems pretty cool. It's basically a um, big change, new game engine. Uh, we will jump into it, into Scrap Mechanic as soon as it finishes downloading. Um, but first we'll just look at the notes. Um, so yeah, let's go. So New game engine, a lot of new improvements and crash fixes. Yes, you can get the beta. New interactive parts, spotlight. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see that. Play with dynamic lighting. That's pretty cool. New features, suspension resistance. What is that? I'll have to check that out as soon as we get in. New block textures. Yeah, I I've heard about this. Um, heard that with the new engine they could uh, um, create better textures. And finally, they've implemented it. Oh, this is really good because I like this wheel a lot better. This brand new wheel, new improvement, big wheel redesign. That looks way better. So let's just see. Hi, Hi mechanics. As you can see from the image above, we've just released a really exciting update. It has big changes to the game engine and in-game lighting, but but there are also important tweaks to textures, suspension, and the big wheel. New game engine, uh, the reworked game engine that we've been working on for a very long time has now been added to the game. Phew! Over the testing period for the engine, we have noticed significantly less crashes, something that has been one of our main goals. Uh, the frame rate has also improved, but it's still not exactly where we would want it to be. But it's not much better than before. And we do have more ne nefarious schemes, what's that supposed to mean? They'll improve it even more, but they'll have to wait until early next year. That's alright. It's not noticeable when you're playing the game, but the new engine has a lot of hidden benefits. Uh, it makes our workflow a lot smoother and opens up a whole range of new possibilities for our game development. That means less time solving bugs and more time making awesome gadgets and features for you. Dynamic lighting. Thanks to popular demand, we can announce we have finally added dynamic lighting. You can finally light up the environment. Using one of two spotlights, which can be activated using a trigger, these are the headlamp and the warehouse spotlight. Spotlight. By pressing E on the last, blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. How you can like change how bright it is and that. Suspension resistance. Another thing was a very popular request among our amazing mechanics was the option to set the resistance of the suspensions. So that's what it is. Okay. Now you can press E. Yep. Using it on a small jalopy. Went for a bumpy ride. And most players will, f will find the first 10 resistance level the most useful. Oh, and one more thing. And the suspension can now be coloured. That is a great, great feature. Thank goodness for that. And apparently they've also um, done that for bearings as well. Which is really good. New block textures as we have caught. As we, as we are clawing our way towards survival mode, we are changing and improving a lot of older elements. Not only the code as well as with the new engine, but also with the visuals. Particularly, many mechanics requested a change to the glass block. Of course we listened, but we also went one step further. We changed the stained glass block to a completely clear and renamed the previous, more opaque glass block to tile glass. That is awesome, because the old glass was just like a piece of crap. Um, more widely, we also completely remade the block textures. Yep, that is good. Reinventing the big wheel. We know lots of you use the big wheel in your creations, but it wasn't quite up to scratch for us. The old one simply didn't meet our new visual standard. Thankfully, we finally got around to redesigning it, and we think it's really... It's weird. Wow. Okay. Anyway, we hope you might would like it as much as we do. What a, what a pun. It's really much better. Okay. Full list of changes. New rendering engine. Added dynamic lighting. Added warehouse spotlights and tweaking headlamps, so they now have dynamic lights with beam range setting. The beam, the beam can now be coloured with the paint tool. Awesome. Suspension resistance setting added. We made an update all block textures. Updated the inven inventory items. Bearings of suspension are now paintable. Re remade the big wheel. Added a new clear glass block. Glass now renders correctly in workshop inventory GUI. New reflection cube map for flat world. What the? What? New reflection. Thank goodness I read this. New reflection cube map for. I'm gonna have to check whatever that is. The paint tool now shows the selected color. Radio has, radio now has a on and off animation. Nice. Gas engine, electric engine. Oh. Gas engine, gas engine and electric engine now have an animation when using the engine setting. 
awesome. Uh, didn't they already? Is the uh, slider maybe? Oh, maybe that was in the uh, beta. I know, um, in the beta for the engine. Well, not this engine, but like the, uh, the game engine. Added names by the players and also improved it so it follows mechanic better. New partic particle engine. Yeah, that's. Um, I think that's with the new engine. The game is merging boxes and cylinders, resulting less collision checks. Good. That's real good if you want to create like catapults and that. For the modders, mods will need to be updated to work with the new engine. In the meantime, we're leaving the old engine version 0.1.32 where mechanics can play their mods, but no worries. Early next year, we'll add official mod support, making modding much better. Awesome, 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 awesome. Final word. We hope you enjoy playing our winter update. In the meantime, we would like to take the opportunity to thank each and every one of you mechanics out there for all your amazing support in 2016. It has been a great year for us at Axler, and we couldn't have done it without you. But this is a year's only the beginning. From where we stand now, 2017 will even be better, with a ton of new updates. Rest assured, we're not going anywhere, and we'll see you in 2017. We'll love you. Keep on scrapping mechanics. Ah, what a good... This is an awesome update. Good job. Let's go check it out. So I've hopped into Scrap Mechanic, it's fi finished downloading. Um, what I did notice was it did take a little bit longer to load in, but I guess that will just be a one-off thing. Um, but also, I quickly went to Options, and what surprised me is we have a new tab that says Dynamic Light, so switch that on. Hopefully this will run alright, and also I apologise for the um, quality of my microphone and the noise in the background, but uh, I can't really fix that. So let's go to New Game. Um, let's go, and as you can see, down here, Scrap Mechanic Beta version 0.2.0, just to let you guys know. So, Creative, we'll make a try and see anything different about that. Um, okay. And then we go create. Okay, so I just hopped into um, Scrap Mechanic. It doesn't look too different. But the ground is a lot different in texture. They did say they changed these icons as well and they have it looks a lot different it seems to be more vibrant so let's just oh the book is different as well wait what is it? so the book's different uh inside anything else they added seems like there's more i don't know quite sure um let's close that for now let's our hammer does seem to be different too is there anything different with our body? Uh, I didn't. Th I don't think it used to rotate like this. I have to check, but I'm not quite sure. Any? Okay, that looks the same. Let's go back. So we'll test out the suspension. See if we can paint it. The paint tool. Do we have? That's a small wheel. The big wheel. Oh, and the um that as well. And also the glass. So let's first let's just check out the glass. Let's get back. Oh, let's get back into this view. Oh, okay, that's a lot better. It used to be more green, and and it was really green. Really so that's a lot better. Ah, oh, that is awesome. And it actually, like, it looks really cool. I like this glass. And you got the new wheel. That is very nice. I gotta say, that is very nice. Check out the paint tool. Okay. So I can paint this like that. How about. It's not as. The black isn't as black as I would like it. It seems to be very. Unknown. Let's see. Can these be changed? Yes, they can. That is very nice. Um, what else? The bearings. These apparently could can be trained. Yes, that is awesome. It's like when you've got the really small these parts, it just gets annoying. Um, so they did say they changed the animation or something on this. But I think it's just with the lever here. Let's see if I can get. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was in the uh, game engine. Which is recently updated. What is this? Warehouse Spotlight. Okay. 
I'll probably have to upload a more in-depth um, video of this later, but for now let's just see how this goes. So now let's just quickly check out the radio. Apparently there's a on and off connection. There we go. That's right. Um, a little bit more detail there. Uh, the world seems better. Of course, it doesn't seem really good because I'm on a lot of settings. But anyway, I well, hopefully it'll record fine. Um, I think these might have been changed. They seem different. What else? Uh, shell. Yeah, these these icons are, have definitely changed. Like, I think this is a lot bigger for the duck. What baby duck statuette? Um, did I always say that? I don't. Okay. Let's get that out. Yeah, so it does appear to be different. Um, which is pretty good. Well, that texture there is pretty good as well. Let's. Oh, okay. What's on the ground? Oh, that is awesome. So then I can change the brightness. So I have to. Oh yeah, okay. That's that, and then. I think that one's brighter. That is very nice. I like that texture a lot. And then we've got these lights. Cool. Oh, and then does it change color? Does it, yeah, it does seem so. That is awesome. That is awesome. Wood texture. That is good. That is a pretty good texture. I gotta say, I did really good on that. And then we got concrete. Awesome. And then the metal. Nice, there's heaps more detail on these now. Jeez, awesome. Oh! So we got the battery block. Oh wait, no, that's a tile block. Uh, I think that's changed. Yeah, it looks like it has. And there's a battery bl block. It has like, it's not straight lines anymore. Well, like completely straight. Which is a nice addition. The flat world. Apparently it said something like the cube thing. Not quite sure what that's on about, but you know, we'll see. Maybe it was just rendering. I'm not quite sure. And then we'll get like under a heavy block. Okay, so that does that. Okay, so. Oh, that is cool. Oh, wait, that's all the way. That is awesome. Thank goodness I did that. There we go. So there's a suspension resistance. That is awesome. Uh, let's just quick see if we can paint this one as well. We should be able to. Nice. Like, that is awesome. I really like that. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I might see you guys next time. See ya.